Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm a mom vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, my work schedule, virtual learning, anything mommy related. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. So we're having a rough start. Ali honestly didn't even wake up until 7.30. It is now almost 10 o'clock. He is still in his pull-up and that's pretty much it. Um, he took a nice number two and keeps running away from me so I can't get him dressed. Um, but luckily we cleaned up breakfast and we started getting the house kind of laid together. I don't know <laughs> what today is going to bring us. It's really hot out and I know Anthony's coming home with a surprise. It's an early Mother's Day gift. I'm like super excited. Um, so yeah, that is something we can look forward to. I'm like just trying to tidy up the house because we're getting ready for the weekend. I need to clean my car tomorrow. It's disgusting. That will probably be the next video because I'm deep cleaning that. <laughs> Horrible. So yeah, this one's naked. Hey bud. Do you want to get your diaper changed? <laughs> hey, get back here. <laughs> so, that's pretty much what happens every time I ask him, do you want to get your diaper changed? So, I'm just going to keep letting him run around until he doesn't notice that I'm going to change his diaper anymore and then change his butt. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Does anybody else struggle with their child they're getting their diaper changed? One reason is because he just doesn't like sitting there still for like two minutes. And then another reason is because he just, he'd rather just sit in his own filth. <laughs> Say please. Okay. Because you asked nicely. We? Here. <laughs> So he's playing with his Amazon Fire now um, and this big teddy bear. Excuse me, can I change your butt? Hey, can I change you? <laughs> can we bring it to the couch? Come on, let's bring it to the couch. Come on, give me your hand. Okay. All right. I'm leaving you out here. Bye. Bye bye. And yes, I know I have trash on the floor. I have to pick it up. He's gonna come. He's coming. Look at him. He's coming. <laughs> okay. While well, we wait for Ollie to come over here and, you know, sit down with me, I just wanted to go over like some things that Anthony and I talked about for summer because we're still not taking a huge vacation. I know we went on a big vacation last year, but it was isolated. And I think I talked about this before in another video, but Anthony and I have decided to just do a small mountain house trip for like a long weekend up the Poconos. And it's gonna be in the middle, the end of July. And we're taking Joey with us. So it'll just be like us four and then Joey. So it's not like a big trip and it's like still isolated enough to like not have to worry about COVID. Um, and then we seriously want to go to Disney so bad, but we want it to be open completely. We don't want any restrictions. We don't have to want to wear, we don't really care about the mask mandate. It's the fact that like the kids can't interact with the characters and it's like not all of it. So we kind of just don't want to go to Disney unless it's like the full experience of Disney. And I've mentioned this before in another vlog. It's just, I, this is a summer vacation vlog so we're just going to talk about it so we really wanted to go to disney and we're thinking of just pushing it until october of next year so hopefully things are cleared up the we don't care uh, like i said we don't care about mass mandates but we would really like the kids to be able to get vaccinated before we go anywhere so they don't contract covid so we're just waiting on that to like finalize going to disney because once they're vaccinated we could pretty much just like do whatever i don't care at that point um but we would like to like schedule Disney for October of next year. So hopefully we can go next year. If not, I don't know when we're going to be taking these kids to Disney. Because I've been planning for the last two years to take them to Disney. And COVID just ruined it. Last year we were supposed to go in October. And then the beginning of this year we were supposed to go in February. But Anthony just does not want to go unless everything is available. So that's where we're at with Disney. We're 
we were supposed to take a trip to Tennessee with like the rest of my family and I just like completely did not agree to go into that because one it's like a 10 hour drive with both kids by myself and then we're just in a house which is my sister so it's a lot with like all the kids and be me by myself so I just decided not to go to that and then like I said we're going to the Poconos for a long weekend but I also want to do like day trips I kind of want to go to New York Baltimore down the shore Joey's got like a like a trailer down the shore we can go down there anytime we would like to um I don't know like sm small little day trips maybe even go to like the bounce or sky zone something something to get my kids out of the house because it's just been too long of being cooped up doing nothing but I also would like to not take like a week-long vacation somewhere because it's just too much like just traveling for a day to like somewhere where I can control the setting and just leave if I'm not comfortable that's better than going on a full vacation and paying like thousands of dollars to stay there and it's not worth the money if I leave so yeah that's what we're doing this summer I would like to know what your opinions are on traveling throughout the summer like I know a lot of people are still going to Disney and doing things um, but how do you feel about traveling with your kids taking like trips with your kids I'm just like super worried about my little ones like contracting COVID that I just am not traveling um, wee, 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 wee. he's back what's wrong so I'd really like to know your opinions on what you're doing. I know a lot of people are still traveling and doing things with their kids. Um, I know I could possibly take like make it safe for us to travel. It's just I'd rather just not risk it at this point. We've made it this far. We can last a little bit longer until everything goes back to normal, hopefully. So we are just taking another summer out. To be honest, I really don't like traveling in the summer to begin with because Anthony's really high with work um like they're heavy during the summer along with during like Christmas time he's super heavy if you don't know this Anthony's a trash man so he really can't get off during the summer because one he's like low on the seniority pole like he's pretty much like the newest person they have there um so like it's by seniority whoever gets the days gets the days so like he doesn't get the book until like summer pretty much starts so he can't take those days off and um like i said he's super heavy during the summer so he likes to work like overtime and stuff so taking a vacation with him would just be like impossible and i don't like taking vacations by myself with the kids because it's hard um i mean i could i just don't want to um so yeah that's where we're at with vacations hopefully it gets a little bit better next year and we can go to disney and just like travel and do things uh, that we would like to but one I would really like to go to Disney but I'm also dreading it with this one because he's just like really hard to deal with with one traveling and two if he misses a nap he's miserable and three he doesn't sleep anywhere but in like dark places unless it's like he's so behind on a nap that he just falls asleep anywhere and I don't want that to happen because then he's sleeping during the day during the time that he's not supposed to be sleeping and then he's up all night so that's kind of like another reason why we're like trying not to go to Disney because if we go to Disney we would have to like Lily would have to stay with me and do things and then Anthony would go back to like the hotel for his naps and then early for his bedtime so it's kind of just like do you do that on vacation because when I was on North Carolina I did that like I stuck to Ollie's schedule do you guys do that when you go on vacation with your toddlers is it like miserable when you don't do that or is it like okay like at the end of the week you kind of just deal with it um when you come back like forming your routine again <laughs> let me know in the comment section below because i would love to know um he'll be almost four by the time we go next year so it'd probably be a lot easier without naps and stuff but the bedtime situation like do you stay up later if you're out on vacation with your children like i i never took lily on like a huge vacation like we went to um we went to New Hampshire a couple of times and like obviously down the shore and stuff, but we've never done like a huge vacation away when she was real young. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. I know I'm asking a lot of questions because I love hearing other people's opinions on like motherhood. Um, you know, it's a village, guys. 
Can I change your butt? Where are you going? I'm just never changing his butt today. Oh no! We built this really big tower and Ola just dumped it over. All right, you're gonna fix it. Go ahead, fix it. We took a nice little walk outside and now we're playing with blocks and then I'm gonna get started on lunch. What do you want for lunch today, pasta? You want noodles? Go ahead, fix it. This could literally keep him busy for hours. Good job. That's an awesome tower. I just put the little one down for his nap. Anthony's actually on his way home with my surprise. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, I'll be able to open that on camera and show you guys what I got for Mother's Day. I don't really know what we're doing for Mother's Day. That's up to Anthony. I'm just, you know, along for the ride. Um, so, yeah, I'm, like, really excited. I also wanted to update you guys really quick on his sleeping since it's been about like four days since I recorded the day in the life of a toddler. I switched up his schedule if you didn't watch that video. Um, so he now goes to sleep at 12.30 instead of 11.30. We pushed it an hour and he wakes up at 12.30. What? He wakes up at 2.30 so he gets a two hour nap during the day. And that's been working really well because he's been going to sleep by 7.30 and he's waking up between 6.30 and 7.30, so, like, he usually wakes up around that time. Today, he didn't wake up till 7.30. I'm assuming he was just super tired, but yesterday, he actually woke up before 7. So, it all depends, like I said, on how active he is throughout the day, how he sleeps during his nap, how fast he goes to sleep during bedtime. So, this has actually been working for us, and thank God, because sometimes his naps like stretch too far that it takes me forever to get him up and ready to go and pick up Lily from her dad so this just helps that he has like an end time so we wake him up at 2 30 and he's good to go so he's already been sleeping well I actually didn't put him up there until almost like 12 45 so it was around one o'clock now and he's out like he's tired so um he might just be ready by 2 30 he was actually up i went to work on wednesday and he actually got up himself at before 2 30 on wednesday so that is working so if anybody is like struggling to get their kids to go to sleep at nighttime either stretch the naps shorten the naps or in my case just push it um so that's working for us maybe you could try it if it's something that you're worried about I know when Ollie's had two naps, it was causing issues with his sleeping. So we ended up just taking the two naps away and just having one big nap in the middle of the day. And that worked for us as well. So just, you know, move around the schedule and see what works for you and your baby. Hopefully this can help another mother. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. And I'm just waiting for Anthony to come home with my surprise. And then I'll show you guys my awesome surprise. Yay! Anthony got me this. I'm super excited. We're gonna use it for dinner, right, Anthony? Yep. Right? Yep. Right? We're gonna air fry the crap out of some chicken. Yay! I'm so excited. Let's open it. Let's open it. Yay! This is like the most excited moment of my young adult life. Wow. You've had a shitty life. What? You've had a shitty adult life, though. Nice to, to have an air fryer? The this, moment. Yeah. I mean, other than having children, but. So I got the Ninja Foodie. I'm so excited. We're going to use it tonight to do chicken. And what kind of vegetable did you want? I think you wanted to do mozzarella sticks or something. Um, I'm so excited. I think we, oh, we already ate the curly fries. Damn, that would have been good. I'm making like chicken tenders, tenderloins, whatever, um, in there. And then I guess we can also do like corn, I said corn, but we could do corn or we could do Brussels sprouts. I have a bunch of stuff that we could either shove in there to do along with 
the chicken and mozzarella sticks. Unless this is gonna be like a let's fake it till we make it ordering out day. Ordering out. Yeah, like we'll fake like we're ordering out like chicken fingers and mozzarella sticks. So no healthy foods. So this is all that's left from the chicken strips and onion rings that we made. To be honest, they were really crispy and good. Still tender on the inside, but really crispy on the outside, along with the onion rings. Everything just turned out really well. Even Ollie ate them, which I'm surprised. So if you need to buy this, now's the time because it's on sale at Target's Target. I think it's only on sale on Target's website. So it's originally like almost $200. I got it for $150. So yeah, perfect. So Anthony got a new game. He's gonna be playing that because he's a little baby. Lily's here. Doing something that she's not gonna show the camera because she doesn't want to be on camera anymore. Ollie's playing. And we're just like settling down for the night. We had an amazing dinner with the air fryer and we're just gonna relax. We're, Anthony's gonna be playing his game when Ollie goes down for bed. Lily's gonna be playing Pokemon cards with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Um, and that's it. Uh, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.